The four forces of flight, thrust, drag, weight, and lift. Now understanding how these forces work and knowing how to control them with the use of power and flight controls are essential to flight and especially crucial to an SUAS because of their small size. Even the smallest changes can greatly affect its center of gravity. Now, if the CG is too far aft or to the rear of your aircraft, the aircraft becomes more difficult to control, which also means more difficult to recover from a stall. So here we have thrust or power. That's the forward force or thrust produced by the propeller and engine, which opposes or overcomes the force of drag. Drag or friction, a rearward or slowing force or friction caused by disruption of airflow by the wing, rotor, fuselage, and other protruding objects. Weight is gravity, the combined load of the aircraft itself and everything attached, pulling the aircraft downward because of the force of gravity. Now, weight gravity opposes lift and acts vertically downward through the aircraft's center of gravity. And then we have lift opposes the downward force of weight and is produced by the dynamic effect of the differences in air pressure. Just remember that when your SUAS is flying in a straight and level unaccelerated flight, lift equals weight and thrust equals drag. That will likely be on your exam. Now, although the majority of SUAS operators will be using multi-rotor quadcopters with a fixed static camera payload and or a static center of gravity, the FAA still wants remote pilots to fully understand how changes in the center of gravity can affect flight performance and the FAA may often refer to fixed wing aircraft in parts of the knowledge exam. Excessive weight reduces the flight performance in almost every respect, including a shorter endurance, which can compromise the structural integrity of an unmanned aircraft. At slower air speeds, the maximum available lifting force is only slightly greater than the amount necessary to support the weight of the small unmanned aircraft. However, at higher speeds, the capacity of the flight controls or a strong gust and wind may increase the load factor beyond all safe limits. The load factor on the wings of an aircraft may be increased any time the aircraft is subjected to maneuvers other than straight and level flight. Now remember that, that may be on the exam. Load factor on the wings of an aircraft may be increased any time the aircraft is subjected to maneuvers other than straight and level flight. When an unmanned aircraft is flying in a straight and level unaccelerated flight, lift equals weight and thrust equals drag. Now this does not mean the four forces are equal, but rather it means the opposing forces are equal to each other and thereby cancel the effects of each other. So adding weight or a payload to your aircraft can result in any of the following deficient characteristics. It can result in a higher takeoff speed, longer takeoff run, reduced rate and angle of climb, lower maximum altitude, shorter range, reduced cruising speed, reduced maneuverability, higher stalling speed, higher approach and landing speed, and longer landing roll. Stability in an aircraft affects two areas significantly, maneuverability and controllability. Maneuverability, the quality of an aircraft that permits it to be maneuvered easily and to withstand the stresses imposed by the maneuvers. It is governed by the aircraft's weight, inertia, size, structural strength, and power source. Controllability, the capability of an aircraft to respond to the pilot's control, especially with regard to flight path and altitude. 
It is the quality of the aircraft's response to the pilot's control application when maneuvering the aircraft, regardless of its stability characteristics. Remember this one? Taking off on an uphill slope with a fixed wing aircraft will require an increased distance to obtain lift. Thank <laughs> you.